We are opening up some extra spots in our napkin club, mainly for, for, uh, a, well, I'm not going to say, I mean, we're opening extra spots because in April we're going to have, we're celebrating a, basically our anniversary. Um, most of my membership groups are, um, start, were started in March or April. So we decided to take April as our kind of anniversary month, our birthday month for the groups. So um, we have lots of fun things happening right now, and we're planning lots of fun things for April um, um, just to celebrate our love of creativity and to celebrate our anniversaries of, of the membership groups, and one of those being the Napkin Club. So right now we are offering a little gift. So if any of you have not joined the Napkin Club and you're considering it and want to join, um, we're going to go ahead and honor this. We're already offering this and we will be offering it in April as well. When you join, we have a little gift for you. We've created um, a variety bundle of napkins just as a welcome gift to the club, um, something that you can be playing with uh, while you're waiting for your first uh, official bundle to arrive. And the April bundle right now, we'll be shipping these out right around the 5th, April 5th, which is a Friday. Some of it might spill over to Saturday, April 6th, but right at that, that's kind of our target date, April 5th, April 6th. Um, to get this shipped out to our napkin club members. <laughs> yes, we've been we've we've been planning and it's going to be April's really going to be a fun month, I think, uh, especially for all of our members. So, yeah, uh, thank you, Sylvia. I think the napkin club is pretty fantastic also. So I'm going to jump right into the live reveal tonight. Um, Susan Lyles is on with me um, tonight um, and she is going to be posting links. So if you are interested, if you start, you know, looking at the napkins and you're like, you know, I want to see what this is all about. I want to try this out. One thing that we do um, that's really important to me, I feel like everybody should be able to try something if they want to try it. So we don't have any kind of contract. Um, we don't have a cancellation fee. Um, if you come in and you try to try it for a month and you decide it's not for you, you just email us your cancellation request before the first of the next month. It really is that easy. Um, all of our members, we have a private Facebook group. That's kind of our, our, um, our fun, uh, crafty hangout. That's where I share. Um, I'm normally go live in that group every Tuesday night at 7 PM central. And I share projects, techniques, tutorials, all kinds of things, um, and using some of the napkins that are in the bundles. And not only do you get access to that, you're going to have access to all of the past workshops, too. We have them all beautifully organized in what we call our club hub. And uh, it's kind of like an online classroom portal, <laughs> like a classroom library. So you can go and check out all of the different things that um, have been done with napkin art um, in this club. Hi, Susan. There she is. So yeah, it really is. It's such a fun club. And if you feel like you're kind of in a creative rut and you just want to try something new, I'm going to encourage you to come try this because napkin art can feed over. It kind of crosses over and into all kinds of different um, crafting um types or niches or whatever you want to call that. So many ways that we can use napkins, so many ways that we can create with them. Um, and it is just super fun. And I'm finding new ways all the time. I, <laughs> the girls in the club will attest to that. Okay. Not only are you going to learn about just different ways to use the napkins and different techniques to use with them. We make specific projects. Sometimes we, um, um, also, you're going to you're going to be you're going to feel a lot more confident in using the napkins because I show you the best practices for using them on different types of surfaces. And it's a fill in the blank because really you can napkinize just about every surface out there. But there's certain things, certain ways that you can do it. Um, it's not kind of a um, you know, it's if you want an amazing project, which I want all of my members to have amazing projects. I try to share those little tips and tricks, the little secrets that can take a project from looking good to looking like, wow, <laughs> it is super, super fun. So I'm just going to jump right in today. Um, 
uh, Susan, like I said, Susan Laws is here. She's going to be assisting on the live tonight. So she's going to pop in um, the link. So if any of you are interested in learning more about the Napkin Club, you can go find out all the information for yourself and um, take advantage right now of that special bonus gift. Um, and we will send that out to you uh, right away. <laughs> so you have something to play with and we'll get you in the group right away. We won't start, um, just in case if you do sign up, we don't process your payment right away. Um, payments will pro process generally on the third and the fourth of the month. I think all the new signups now are all processing on the fourth of the month. Okay, so, but we're not gonna wait on that. We're gonna stick you right into the group. We want you to get um, acquainted with everybody in the group and, you know, we wanna start inspiring you immediately, okay? <laughs> all right and you'll see you'll see there's lots of napkin club members watching right now because they want to see what's coming and then we have a whole nother group of members that don't want to see what's coming they they don't you know i kind of gave them a spoiler alert they really like to be surprised they like to be surprised when the bundle comes <laughs> so this bundle for April is called um, Love for Nature. Love for Nature. I think you're really going to like it. There's a little bit of unexpected in here. And I'm telling you right now, if you're a Napkin Club member, when I show these to you, you're going to understand why I'm so excited about them. Let me kind of zoom in here just a bit. I'm on kind of a, I want to jump right into this because I I'm teaching the spring window box class. If you're in the spring window box class, our part two starts at seven. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump right in. Okay. You guys ready? All right. Well, obviously this first one is so, so pretty. I put it on the very front of the bundle because I love bicycles. I think bicycles are so cute and fun to create with. And I can just imagine this bicycle, you know, um, and, uh, picking up all these pretty fresh flowers. I love the little basket on the bicycle. I just think it's so cute. This is a luncheon size napkin. Let me show you why I really like this particular napkin. Because you know how napkins kind of cut off, right? Well, this one doesn't. So let me show this to you. Look, we get the whole we get the whole bicycle we get the whole entire bicycle and i'm going to make a cute little sign for this i think i think this would be really really cute i love it i love the size of it so you'll see you kind of have this going on here so you're going to wind up with let me show it over here Two. look at the full bicycle so cute so you're going to have two full bicycles on this napkin and it's a great size. It really is. It's a great size. I love the little birds and butterflies. <laughs> very, very cute. Yes. So we don't have to, we don't have a cutoff tire. We get the whole thing. So I'm excited about that. All right. So I put that one on the front, and then I'm going to jump right into some of these others. Um, this next, I'm actually going to show you a grouping for this next one. I'm going to show you uh, these kind of one, two, three in a group because I got very, very excited about these. This is the first one I want to show you. So I hope that y'all can see this. Okay. Am I too zoomed in? Okay. I hope you can see this. Okay. This is a luncheon size napkin. Um, I love this napkin. I'm going to kind of open it up. I'm going to show you a few of the details on it. I really love that it's on this white background and it's not all filled in. It's just a really pretty look. And when I open this up a little bit more, we're going to look at it a little closer, some of the elements. Look closely. What does that look like to you guys? Are any of you in my Fabric Fan Club? What does this look like to you? They look like they're stitched. Yes, they look like they're stitched. Look at the little stitches. So some of these items have these little stitches on them and they are so cute. So I fell in love with this uh, particular napkin. <laughs> it looks like embroidery, right? They look like they have been stitched and I'm, I'm really, really excited about that. I love stitching. I love fabric. I love thread. So I love this. Now, I'm going to keep going with this one. Remember, I told you this is kind of like part of a set. All right. Along with this kind of stitching theme, 
look at this napkin. I think I'm almost zoomed in too much. Let me back off just a little bit so I can raise it up here. Um, take a look at this napkin. Do you see what I see? I see all kinds of stitches. <laughs> and this is a luncheon size napkin. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun with these napkins because we're going to make things that are going to look like they have been stitched. Look at all those cute little patterns. All of these, we could cut these into little borders, little strips, little patches, um, all of the fun things. And it coordinates so well with this right here. Okay. Isn't it cute? I know I've been like, I've been ready for April to get here because I've been wanting to use these napkins. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This also is kind of in the same little grouping here. And again, look at this napkin, you guys. So this looks almost like a patchwork, right? Like a patchwork. Um, again, it's a, a luncheon size napkin. So it's a big napkin. And when I bring it in closer, it's like little bitty stitches little stitches everywhere. We are really going to have some fun with this. We may be even um, doing a little bit of napkinizing onto fabric and kind of in, in playing with this kind of uh, stitch theme. So this is going to be a little adventure that we're going to take um, in April. And I just think it's gorgeous. I mean, look, how pretty you can kind of see how everything just kind of falls in together it's going to be really really fun to be creative with this okay oh it's so pretty and if you like this you're really going to like something else i'll show you here shortly <laughs> okay so we have these three here let me put, get these back out of order and then of course with it being um, springtime, I think this go. I think that I got something out of order here. Hang on. Okay, this one goes here. All right. With it being springtime, of course, um, you know, and our love for nature, a lot of us are planting things. Um, uh, we're taking those wonderful walks and things. If you're in certain parts of the country, I know it's not quite spring for you, but it's definitely turning spring here for us in Texas. And so I really love this napkin. I love the terracotta pots. I love that they're kind of all on this, almost like a table top right here. Has a really pretty kind of a watercolory background. And uh, it's just so pretty when you open up the whole napkin and you just see all of these beautiful pots with the pretty yellow flowers. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. And I think I'll open it up so you can see there's kind of this floaty watercolor background with little bits of um, kind of shades of greens and teals. It's really, really pretty. OK, and that one, a good one. All right. So there's that one. And then I threw this one in there, too, because this is, you know, um, I'm calling this bundle Love for Nature. And um, so I thought a bird's nest was appropriate. I think this one's really pretty, again, with yellow flowers. Love the bird's nest. Look at all the little bird eggs and the feathers. I think this one's really cute. You're going to see that there's, there's kind of a bird theme going on um, in this bundle, as well as, like I said, some of those unexpected surprises. <laughs> so this is also a luncheon napkin. So you're going to have lots of fun images here to play with. This one's going to be really, really pretty, I think, and fun to play with. Um, in the mix uh, with these, I kind of, you know, y'all know, I kind of like to, when I'm choosing them, I kind of try to kind of choose um, patterns and colors and things that I think will go together. So I decided to throw this one in the mix. Um, Love for Nature has a lot of green in it. And so I was trying to find a good companion napkin that would look good with some of the nature type napkins with the green, but also could look good with some of those stitching elements. And because this kind of has this, this, um, oh, sh the diamond shape, right? Do you see how also that also then kind of looks like a patchwork? So we may be cutting some of these up to create our own custom um, stuff, <laughs> our own custom fabric patchwork fun things. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? But look how pretty it is in kind of com in combination with these. I think it's a really beautiful, um, I'm going to call it a companion napkin. Um, it, where if we want to do, you know, other elements on a project or the sides of a canvas or something like that, it's nice to have napkins like this. Okay. Nice to have that. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? But uh, yeah. So yeah. Interesting. It's going to be a fun month. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. I have another bicycle napkin for you. Here's another bicycle napkin for you. And this one it brings in some beautiful purples, lovely purples, very pretty. I am, I'm going to guess some of this is kind of like lavender. I love the little, the little gardening boots or rain boots right there. And notice that we've got a nice opening here. For some of you that are new and, and aren't as familiar with the Napkin Club, I do a printable now for every bundle that just is different sayings, different you know quotes or sayings or something that would look cute to add into your projects. And so I'm on always on the lookout for a napkin that has kind of an area that we could put some cute words or quote or a saying in. And this one will be perfect for that. So we have four images here. Um, a really lovely. I love kind of how it's kind of framed out with the vines and the lavender. I think it's really pretty. And again, see how the, kind of the greens tie in. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. And I've kind of forgot to show you this, but um, even the first, even the first bicycle um, even the first bicycle with some of these elements, I don't know. I think we can kind of play around with some of these elements too, um, incorporating the bicycles and some of the other things, right? Like an interesting mix. So there is that one. And we're going to do a repeat here. <laughs> You guys, I just couldn't help myself. I love this napkin so much. I'm bringing it in, in in two different, completely different color schemes. Okay. So you can see this is that same napkin I showed you a while ago, but a completely different color scheme. And again, I'm going to hold it up so you can kind of see the stitched look. Love it. I love it. Love it. Isn't it pretty? So now we have this one and we have this one. And we have this one. So now we have two color combinations to play with, right? So these three napkins, let me get the other ones out here. So we kind of have this and we have this, right? Let me turn it where you can kind of see. So we're going to wind up with all of this. And I think that this could be pretty if you want to go one color scheme or the other, or we can even combine some of this together. I just couldn't resist. I don't usually duplicate napkins like this, but these are so unique, right? They're so unique. I just felt like we, I, I, well, basically it comes down to the fact that I just couldn't decide. <laughs> I had to have both, right? I had to have both. Just couldn't couldn't help myself. Um, but again, I think you'll see. You're going to see how they all of these they kind of cross over, mix and match, very very well. Okay. Um, while I have this out, I'm just going to leave some of these out so you can kind of see. Again, wanted to make sure we had another. Um, we have to have flowers, right? This time of year, we have to have some really pretty flowers to incorporate into our projects. Springtime, right? flowers are blooming. Um, it's just beautiful. And so I wanted to bring in something with some pretty good size to it. Um, and I love this. I think this is, this is a really, really pretty one. And again, we're going to have lots to work with here, right? Lots to work with and just pulling in these blues, right? It's going to be very, very pretty, I think all together. All right. Okay. So let me move these out of the way. Okay, next up, some birds. <laughs> 
some birds. I think these birds are so pretty. They do kind of look like a blue bonnet. And um, those of us in Texas, we'll, we'll just treat it like a blue bonnet. And I, I'm not sure exactly what the flower is. <laughs> It, I just know it's pretty and I love the color. So birds, birds, birds. I thought this bird, these little birds were so cute. And again, you kind of see we have some, a lot of kind of watercolor type influence in some of these napkins. And I just thought this one was precious. I love that we've kind of got this little twig, twiggy, viney, twiggy heart here are two little birds. There's some little scattered hearts going around. One of our projects that's coming up is we actually are going to be altering some bird houses. And so I knew we had to have um, some really pretty napkins and some things to use. So I thought this one was just really, really cute. You're going to have uh, four of these hearts with these birds. And I love these because we don't actually have to use them all as one piece. We can use it as one piece, right? We know that. But we can also come in and cut portions of it if we want to, you know, um, do some collaging and add in some of these napkins. Isn't it pretty? Beautiful, hand painted look, very watercolor kind of influence around the back and everything, the, the, the background. I think it's so pretty. OK, so there we go. Bringing in again some more flowers. Um, I'm trying to give you some pretty bold colors in here right so we kind of have these and then of course um we had our you know a little pop of yellow in here so i think that these are going to be really really nice i want to do some signs i want to do some things that are a little bit bigger so we kind of needed some bigger chunkier flowers and i think it's going to look really pretty the other thing that i brought in um is this napkin love this napkin this is kind of a eucalyptus type leaf, really nice. And again, it's big, right? We're going big this month. <laughs> We're going big this month and it is just so pretty. It's got little gold accents in it. I love that it has green, but it also has shades of like teal, aqua almost. Um, it is really gorgeous and we've got a lot of it. We've got a lot of it that we can play with. And so, you know, it's going to be great for some of the projects I have in mind for us um, as we um, create. Okay. So how are we liking all those so far? We're liking it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go big and bold. All right. I have another birdie napkin for you. Another birdie napkin for you. And this one's going to bring in some pink. Um, I love this little kind of a sparrow, this really pretty little sparrow here. I love, we needed some softness, bringing in some pink, but we still have that bold pop of color. I don't know if you can see, there, I'll turn it. See all that script writing? I love the script on there. There's a postmark on there. Very, very pretty napkin. Very, very pretty napkin. And when you open this one up, it gets even prettier, I think. It's just, it's interesting. You know, you never know how napkins are going to kind of open up. But do you see how we have all this pretty, it almost looks like lace. It almost kind of has a lace, lace type look to it. Um, I just fell in love with it. I thought it was really pretty. It's going to be a great one for Love for Nature. Um, also bringing in some cherry blossoms cherry blossoms in here. Um, again, we have some bold, kind of some bold flowers happening and some bold images in this bundle. And I thought this might add a little bit of softness, right? So this will be a good one for us to just cut. We need kind of a more of a smaller type flower, but still, um, I don't know. I just think cherry blossoms are so pretty. So I think this is going to be a really nice uh, piece in here as well. And love for nature. <laughs> That's what I called this bundle. And I think it is a really beautiful bundle with love for nature. When I was trying to decide where to, you know, when I was going to inject in these that look kind of like stitching. And I decided to do it now in love for nature because I can almost imagine it like, you know, you're on a picnic blanket. Maybe you put, throw out a quilt outside and you have a picnic or you just, um, you're, everybody's kind of outside and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I can kind of tie these in, but
but I'm not really that worried about it because I, I know the pictures I have in my mind of our projects and they're going to be beautiful. So I think some of these textures, um, all of these textures, you can think of some of these textures uh, also as things we might, uh, maybe we want to create like a woven basket and we want to have flowers coming out of it, right? I mean, maybe we want a woven texture on top of our, our, our birdhouse or something. So I, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. But we'll also do some projects, I think, that really lend themselves just to this. OK, there's one more napkin in the bunch. Yes. Love for nature. Let me open this one up because it's a little different. We have two hearts that say love for nature. And then we have this that just kind of has these little, little pieces in it. Again, pieces like this will be great for um, the printable. Okay. For us to do some fun things on the printable. Um, last up, I think I'm going to make it in time. It's 657. Last up is this beautiful bird uh, and this lovely wooden bird house. And guess what these are? cherry blossoms. So that kind of ties into cherry blossoms, this pretty little bird here and the birdhouse. So I'm going to quickly kind of show these to you again. Um, no, 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 no. I did not count them. I'm not sure how many are in this bundle. So I'm sure somebody's going to ask me. So, okay, let's do this really quickly. Okay. Here's the bird and the birdhouse. I know it's a really pretty bundle. One, cherry blossoms, two, Love for nature, three, four, it's our eucalyptus, five, our roses, six, and there's eucalyptus in this napkin too, by the way. <laughs> okay, that's six. Our pretty little birds, seven. Okay, there's number eight. Number nine, number 10. Number 11, number 12, okay, 13, 14, 15, <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. There are 19 napkins in this bundle. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to try to keep it closer to like 15, but I can't ever seem to do that. It's usually 18 or 19 in, in the bundle. So there's 19 in this, in this bundle. Um, it's beautiful. I'm calling it love for nature. And these will be shipping out to all napkin club members in April. OK, so I want you to come and join us. I would love for you to pop in and, um, um, and, and even if you just want to come in and try it for a month right? Just see if you like it. See if it's for you. I promise you the people in this group are amazing. They are so sweet and so helpful and they are super inspiring. There are people that have been in this group since we started and they um, are doing amazing projects with the napkins every month. So not only are you going to get inspiration from me, you're going to get a lot of inspiration just from the other members in the group. OK, it's really a great group. So if you're interested in joining, OK, if you're interested in joining the Napkin Club, Susan, if you'll post that link again, it's a great time to join because you're going to get the bonus gift bundle, which is just a variety bundle. Um, it's all napkins that have been um, given to our Napkin Club members in the past. It's just a just a, a, a variety, but something that you can play with while you're waiting for your April bundle to arrive. So we would love to have you.